Hi, I'm Chris Noakes. I'm the Operations Manager for Dotnet Sustainable Construction and this is one of the retrofitting insu external insulation projects that um, we're undertaking at the moment. This is a sort of Burridge Lane bungalow from built in the 70s, now with a dormer conversion. Um, cavity block work and sort of very little in the way of insulation, although there was, a certain, there was some cavity insulation. We have taken 100, 100 mil thick Havertherm plus wood, sort of natural wood fibre insulation, fixed it to the outside of the block work and we've, the timber battens are to receive local, locally sourced chestnut cladding. The jo new joinery in oak has been brought out into the plane of the insulation to, for sort of thermal efficiency and to avoid cold bridging. So we're here at uh, House in Drorridge with Karen and Tony, their newly refurbished house. Karen, can you tell me why, why you've done the work that you've done on this house? Well, we picked this project because we liked the spot really. The garden had, was a very good size and the idea was to be able to use it to grow a lot of our own produce. Um, the garden happened to have a small bungalow on it and um, we therefore realised that we had to enlarge it to make it into a family home. Um, and that's what we did, trying to do it in, in as environmentally friendly a way as we could. Okay. And what work has been done by Totnes Sustainable Construction? Um, the cladding um, and insulation at the front and the side of the house. Um, some work um, changing the windows and the door. The insulation around the front and the gable ends is uh, something called Pavatex, which is a, a, a wood, recycled wood material. Um, which is a bit more expensive than the standard foam chemical stuff um, but is equally effective and uh, we clad the outside with um, sweet chestnut which is English sweet chestnut which we got from a sawmill up on Dartmoor and then was profiled um, in a local um, sawmill in Bobby Tracy and where there was a space between the the roof and the gable end that would have allowed cold air to get in um, we, uh, with the guidance of Totnes Sustainable Construction, um, used sheep's wool to, to plug those gaps in there. So that was all done. Um, all the windows that we put in at the same time all done in English oak. Um, and uh, whereas we initially thought we might get it in tropical hardwood, but eventually, in fact, used English oak, which um, has worked well. And that was made by a local joiner? Yes, just, just 300 yards from here. You happy with the work? Yeah, very I think, yeah, very yep. pleased with it. I think um, Chris Noakes, who did the work for Totnes Sustainable Construction, is excellent. Very helpful as well, a lot of good advice. 